game along with that. Yeah, he goes for the poggers as well. Yeah. Bo both of these players are, are not known to hold back. <laughs> Uh, maybe even when it's not so safe, they, they're definitely... Hey, man, a, you, uh, you got to make it safe. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> thrill-seekers, to say the least. And we're going to kick off our first game of Winter Semis here. Void versus Master Mario on Town and City. And we got Z-Fly and Edmund on the mic. That's right. We see up throw into down air. The new bread and butter for Mario's. Ooh, I like the dash attack at the ledge. going to cover a couple options. Okay, up tilts into the up airs coming out from Void. So much damage, actually. Already got Master Mario to 86. Such a great string. Actually, so many moves coming out. Too many moves for me to even talk about that quickly enough. Mm -hmm. And that down smash, not that's uh, definitely long enough for us to talk about. It's yeah. such a big hitbox. And it just scooped up Master Mario and sent him into the blast zone. And, and that's another move that sends in the direction that Pichu is facing, as we saw the back hit of the down smash connecting and sending him into the blast zone. On the right, Master Mario with a pickup on that up smash. Only 30% on this stock and even 2-2 two to two now. I mean, we used to see that all the time, especially here on Town City when it had the lower ceiling. Yeah. But now it has a higher ceiling, so up smash killing at around 100% isn't exactly heard of anymore. But when you're the lightest character in the yeah. game, oh, you're God. definitely going to eat that. We saw a good ladder combo just coming out from Master Mario, but a down tilt into F smash. That F smash from Pichu is so strong. So good, and what a great play from Void as well. Reading the option from Master Mario and catching the landing. Back air right here is going to put him off stage potentially. He's not going to get the landing with the up air. And that's what I was talking about. Right there, you can see Master Mario got hit, but he was in uh, the animation for the forward air. You know, he was ready. He was trying to punch Pichu. All right, dropping through the platform, the neutral air, and another up smash from Master Mario going to pull us back to 1-1. 88% on Master Mario, though. He can make this back with a combo or two. He's just going to have to find that opening, shoot some fireballs, there's the jabs. Oh, especially with the oh, way the platforms are set up right now, it's going to be big damage if Master Mario is able to reset and get a couple of up airs. They're going to put Pichu easily, uh, really close to kill percent. All right, the up air, all right, up smash out of shield from Void to get that punish right there. Not a move that we really see from Pichu's too often, the up smash. Not at all, Z fly and uh, Void making it work right there. Holy. Oh, the aggressive skull bash right now. Down throw into double up air for Master Mario. Oh, unfortunately, flooding the wrong direction. Oh my god, those up smashes are going to be so scary for Void right now. We saw how early it could have killed. A little bit of rage on Master Mario here. Uh, the ceiling is going to be better for him. 94% up smash is going to be online. That's right. So is that forward smash. Up smash. Really, all the smash attacks <laughs> from that, that percent, that's going to kill. What a great spacing for Master Mario. I mean, you, you saw that he threw out that forward smash at least two or three times in, that, mm -hmm. in the last couple of seconds. So the fact that he threw one out, it didn't connect, and then he threw another one out, and it did connect just shows exactly uh, that Master Mario knew exactly what Void wanted to do, and what Void did was put himself right into that hitbox. I mean, even if Void wanted to sit back and toss Thunder Jolts, it's just going to put him yeah. at even higher percents, which is allowing Master Mario to have more moves that would kill. He needed to go in and really eliminate the threat be before it became a bigger threat, and Master Mario saw that. All right, kicking off game two, right back to town and city. Uh, I do like it. <laughs> it's, it's a good I, stage in general, I guess, for Pichu, just because uh, he's so light and the ceilings here are pretty tall, so. Yeah, he I mean, really, he's he's going to die at early percents. Oh my god! Pretty much on just like that on any stage you're on. But wow, good pickup from Master Mario with the fire, the the fire pants. Yeah, it was like, oh no! <laughs> All right, well we're back to two stocks. It's a two stock game now. Four percent onto. I mean, that's Boy. a wild card right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes he's explosive, and he you know he gets and collects. Sometimes you know he just donates his stock. And this is the, not the kind of thing you can let up, especially not on top players such as Void, who turned that around and made it into a stock. 32% on Void and Master Mario down his last stock. That's right. Getting a little bit of an assist from the stage, especially with the side platform, being able to reset and then jump off in back air, going to be a really good tool for, for Void. And now we see Master Mario going for something similar as well. Yeah, that was such a good follow-up from the grab. He actually went into a turnaround up there, which positioned himself perfectly. 
to get that back air and that the potential fire fall for the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Still has to find this stock right here before he can get to work on the next one. Down smash gonna connect, put Void back off stage. As you can see, Void being up a stock, he's not afraid to sit back and throw Thunder Jolts. Doesn't matter if he's at high percent, he's pretty much at kill percent as already for most of Master Mario's moves. So what's a little bit of more damage gonna do? Good dash dance. We're gonna see a down throw into an up air thunder oh follow up. Oh my god, dude, that is so strong. That's Master right. Mario. Give him the lightning. He's sipping his water. He's like, oh, well, I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's what really emulating the the Sonic the Hedgehog on his shirt. Can, yeah, for real. <laughs> he's like, eh. I don't know about that one. <laughs> great, great play. <laughs> All right, so game number three, we're at 1-1 one, one now between these two. Master Mario did have a really early lead in that game too, but he also threw that stock away, as you said, that wild card factor. Sometimes he makes incredible zero to deaths, and other times he just, you know. Yeah, he zero to deaths himself. Yeah. <laughs> Still impressive, but now we're at game three in Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 2 and Master Mario getting the grab on uh, below the platform. That's going to be the danger zone for a lot of characters, especially one as light as Pichu. Doesn't want to die off the top. This stage does have a lower uh, ceiling. 73 to 57. That back air putting Void at 75 now after the jabs. Those smash attacks coming out from Master Mario. He, he knows that even though Void's only at 70%, at the at close to the blast zones, at the, oh especially God. at the ledges, that's where it's going to really count for him. Great catch on that down tilt. Uh, catching Master Mario approaching with the back airs, and knowing he was in air, the down tilt catching and landing, and low profiling at the same time, so a really good option. Mm -hmm. I like the soft hit Nair coming from Master Mario, and now Thunder Jolt, but not able to follow up. Ooh, parry into dash attack, just Bro. trying to restate stage control. Bro, that he looked like he parried and then like dash danced into dash attack. I mean, when you parry, you have all the frames in the world. The world is your oyster at that point. Double dash attack coming from Void. Double dash, what is this, Mario Kart? <laughs> oh, definitely playing the wrong game. Oh, Void is just not afraid to go off stage and throw up, uh, use down air. Uh, especially if he feels like Master Mario is going to commit to double jump. Totally. I mean, if uh, Master Mario commits to double jump and he gets that down air, he's a sitting duck for sure. I mean, not only is that move just obnoxiously strong already, uh, it's just if you expend your resources, you're going to have an even harder time making it back to the stage. Excellent avoidance there from Master Mario, though. But he gets caught by the Nair. And able to avoid the Thunder Jolt, so no jab reset. But Dash Attack in a two-frame voids recovery. Nice. All right. Not enough invincibility frames here for Void. The up smash. So scary from Master Mario. Dead both. even percents for both here. But uh, if anything, a slight advantage for Master Mario. I like that. So Master Mario got up thrown and then Void waited. He stalled to see uh, what Master Mario was going to do. He immediately threw out the cape, expecting the thunder. Thunder is going to connect into that kill, and Void now moving up a stock in this game number three, 113% on him. What Double a combo. Jump. Oh my god, and the platform extension to help him out a little bit. But yeah, it looked like, Void, looked like Void was setting up for lightning loops. He just didn't see uh, follow the DI correctly for Master Mario. So Master Mario, good job mixing up your DI. All right, the grab gonna completely whiff. Off the throw, uh, he, Master Mario had enough time to throw out the spot dodge and then answer back with the up smash. You can cancel uh, your spot dodge animation by immediately buffering an option. So it's just a few shaves of a, a frame or two. Okay. I think it's like less than that. Thunder into down smash and Master Mario finds himself off stage once again. 122%. That should do it. Yep. And Void up 2-1 in this set. Still not out of the woods completely as Master Mario has one more game here. He, it's his counter pick. Um, so, I mean, if, if you're really like thinking about it and Master Mario wins his game, like Void is at all advantage right now because he'll right. have game five on his counter pick. Right, well he is opting to go back to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Dang, man. But I think the game plan for Master Mario is really if he can catch uh, Void off guard with his big smash attacks. I mean, that seems to be, that's how he won game one. And that seems to be where he gets the most mileage in taking stocks. The up smashes and then uh, F smashes at, uh, at the ledge. Absolutely, all right. 
And uh, Mashimori already has a quick 54% onto uh, Void, but Void answering right back. He got him in a bit of a lightning loops. He actually put on 59%. Oh, interesting that uh, Master Mario opted up to put Void in a tech situation and then not actually follow up with the tech. He just waited to see what Void was going to do. But he did connect the up smash, and that's what I'm saying. He needs to be able to land these big smash attacks onto Void to end these stocks. Yeah, and that up smash is going to do the trick. Master Mario, pretty healthy stock right now. And anything that Void does right now is going to rack on damage onto himself, especially if he's not careful and ends up getting whiff punished. I like the down tilt right now, uh, right there. Uh, Master Mario recognizing that he wasn't going to be able to get a, a shield grab at the distance he was at. Okay, dash attack, and that's going to get punished by... Ooh, drag down back air, but not doesn't exactly put uh, Master Mario in the situation he's looking for. No jab reset. No jab lock. All right, and it's looking really dangerous for Void right now. The up throw is going to be enough to do it, connecting into... The thunder. That was a reverse thunder yeah. too. He turned around to make sure that he's gonna go to the close blast zone, not send him across stage. Ooh, oh, fireball beating out the skull bash and big forward smash coming out from Master Mario. He's gonna get punished. All right, 127 percent, 29 now for Void here. He can lose his stock at a moment's notice. Master Mario trying to fight his way in. Great punishes coming out from Void. He's just baiting out all of these options and punishing accordingly. Down tilt into the back air. The platform messing it up. Up throw, Thunder calling down, but he doesn't get the sweet spot. Wow, whiffing a grab, but then gets the second one. Spot dodging away from the Thunder. I mean, whoever takes the stock is going to be in prime position. All right, the Master Dragon Ball! Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I mean, Master Mario was kind of just like spacing out these back ears to, to kind of get a, like a kill. It's like, well, it's like if I, if I hit you with the read or, or if I keep throwing it out, you might just run into it eventually and void ending up trading with it and putting us back down to our last stocks here. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better, anything more exciting to happen here in game four for both these players to be on the last stock. Master Mario fighting for his winner side life. And Void starting up the lightning loops. Yeah, Void trying to make sure that he does not see the other side of winners. Forward tilt right here. Oh my god, what a read! He gets the down air and the re-grab re -grab off of the tech chase. And just a flurry of attacks coming out from Void. But Master Mario able to make it back to stage, air dodging uh, right past Void. We're gonna see another up throw, Thunder. There it is, and it's gonna connect, send them right into the blast zone. Three, one, victory for Void. But a really 